but of course with the fires, everybody was on board working right around the clock. So we were doing basically mitigation, uh, theft prevention in the neighborhoods, helping people, a little bit of everything. So you go from helping somebody get out of their house, evacuate, to helping somebody move stuff, to helping uh, prevent burglaries to the businesses that where the people had evacuated the neighborhood. So yeah, we, we were in, a, a, I believe, tactical uniforms at okay. the time because of the the nature of the incident. It was a, a wildfire, and we had required us to go a lot into the woods, into areas. So you really don't want to go in a polyester uniform like this <laughs> uh, because you're going you to catch go fire in, real quick. You don't want to go in a suit either. No, no. So. so we have a tactical uniform we wear. It's basically BDU pants with boots. And uh, we, it was, since it was summer, we had the long sleeve shirts. Clearly marked identified police. Right. Gun belts, badges, everything like that. But, and, and, but we didn't have any uh, a polyester uniform just because of the flames. Yeah. Uh, we, we were aware of it. We had suggested that they postpone it. The uh, weather conditions were so dire, uh, it was just too risky to bring large numbers of people into this area. We had road closures and uh, we had fire that we were unable to uh, keep in check in many areas. So it was not wise to bring a large crowd into town. Well, it, it, it got worse largely because of the weather conditions. The dry uh, quiche barn index, which measured the dryness of the soil, was uh, one of the lowest we've ever seen. And uh, we hadn't had rain for quite some time, but that winter, if you remember, was very wet. So you had a lot of foliage that had grown right. and then dried. Uh, of course, we had a number of fires starting in, in April and May, and they just grew in size, uh, mostly in the counties. And it wasn't affecting the cities because it was out west. Uh, the county tried to uh, contain those as best as possible, but probably did not have adequate resources on them at the time. And this large number of resources needed, and it was going to be expensive. Uh, and eventually it came to uh, to meet the cities, you know, the uh, the line of homes. And uh, that's where we uh, we really uh, had to battle, is the what we call the interface, where the homes meet the forest. At the time, we wondered when the fires were ever going to quit. You know, we had uh, homes being lost, especially in Flagler County. Volusia County, we were a lot luckier than that. Although before it was over with, almost all the major roads in Central Florida were closed down. Yeah. You remember US 195, Highway 40, uh, US 92, all of them were closed. We really couldn't get anywhere. The area was paralyzed. It's something that we've never seen. It was almost even more devastating than when we had a, a hurricane. Right. They did the responsible thing. You know, they had so much invested. There was so much going on. They had to wait to see what they could do. But there was just no way that they could continue on and have the race. And so the responsible thing was to postpone that race until the weather's better, until people could get here, the fires are out, the smoke had cleared. You know, you have rain delays, but smoke delay, and, right. and it, it was a hazard all the way around for people, and people could not have gotten here because of all the road closures. Right. I think people just said this, maybe thought, hey, this thing will blow, blow away or blow over and we'll get it under control. Like I said, we never experienced that in Daytona Beach, right. fires of that magnitude. So we didn't expect it to be that bad as it was. And I think they did the right thing by calling the fire. And Speedway did a great job uh, by keeping the people, hey, stay home. We're going to reschedule the race for October. And uh, we don't want you to come out here and, and take a chance on getting you know injured or having to travel. We Less traffic on the streets, the better. Yeah. All the c confusion and chaos over here. Yeah.